Okay, so the purpose of this video is to show you how to use Harvard referencing within Microsoft Word. So the first thing you need to do is go to your references ribbon and you can see the default for um, the referencing style is set to APA. So the first thing you need to do is change that to Harvard. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to insert a citation here and this piece of material came from lecture notes and then this below here we're going to insert the citation for this and this came from a website so I'm going to give you two examples okay so insert citation sorry I have clicked and it should literally just be before the last full stop of whatever source you've got it from basically okay so insert citation add new source okay and for the default would normally be that, that would actually come up with a book okay so basically what we're doing is this is lecture notes so we're changing it to be miscellaneous now these are all your options there's lots of different options there and a lot of time you'll be using website basically okay if you're doing this in a third level you would be very specific and there'd be lots of different formats depending on what, exactly what you're doing okay so but if for our case we're just happy enough to use miscellaneous for lecture notes now, rather than just putting in an author, what we're going to do is make it a corporate author. So we're just going to tick the box there, corporate author. So I can't click here at the moment because it's not ticked. OK, I can click here, but can't click here. So once you tick corporate author, it gives you the option to type in there. So what I want you to do is write in lecture notes. And in this instance, um, it was just court personnel. OK, so you always be specific about the set of lecture notes that you're talking about, because like you would probably have had got maybe 10 different sets of lecture notes. And what we're going to do is we're just going to copy that and also put that into the title as well. OK, so lecture notes, court personnel, the year, literally just the current year. OK, you don't have to worry about anything else. That's all you have to put in. And then you're just going to click OK. And you can see there it goes in like that. Now, before we do the website, what I'm going to do is just jump down here so you can see when you insert your bibliography, what happens. So I'm just going to click on bibliography. And just the first option, if you want to, if you're told to call it reference, it's fair enough. But bibliography, the first option is generally the best. And you can see there, lecture notes, course personnel, and it's giving you the information. OK, so moving on then to do a website again, just before the last full stop, this information came directly from a website. OK, now. There is rules around quoting directly where you put it in quotation marks. But for the moment, I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Insert citation and you can see, you know, your previous sources here. OK, so, for example, if you were using the same lecture notes further on down in your in your report, you just have to click on it again. You don't have to add a new source a second time. OK, so we're adding a new source again. Again, we're just change this now. We want a website. So again, near the top. So we have our book book sections. There's our website. OK, now a lot of times websites are going to be corporate authors. OK, unless, for example, it's the Irish Times and you have a specific journalist who's written an article in the Irish Times. Most times, like, for example, the HSA, the Health Safety Authority, the HSE, the Health Service Executive, they would all be corporate authors. OK, so let's have a look at the website we're going to use. So this is the jury service. This is where I got this information. OK, so this is the URL. But the name of the actual website is Court Service Ireland. So they are the corporate author. OK, but while I'm here, I'm just going to take a copy of the um, URL, go back to my Word document. OK, going to stick my URL in here. So this is where I found this information. It's really important that you give that information. OK, so again, corporate author and we have Court Service Ireland. OK, the name of the web page, again, if you just go back very quickly here and you can see that it's jury service, that's the home page for jury service. OK, so generally it's going to be somewhere near the top. You're going to find what what page on this website is the actual information coming from. So we're just going to put in jury service. OK, the year. And again, if we go back and have a quick look. You know, usually what you'll find is at the bottom is where they'll have the year. There doesn't seem to be any year here. So we're just going to go with leaving that out. Obviously, you'd put in the year if you had it. The year you accessed it. OK, the month you accessed it and the day you accessed. It. And that's important as well, because the idea being here is if, if the lecturer or teacher was to go back and check and this had changed, you know, you know, you know, when you access it, there's a chance that it would have been changed since that. That's OK. OK, click OK. 
it goes in like that and ND means no date that's fine because we had no date on our website and what we want to do now is we want to go back to our bibliography and we want to update our citations and bibliography and you can see there it pulls it in it also pulls it in in alphabetical order okay so C becomes before L so that's why it goes in that order okay now generally your bibliography would be on a brand new page at the end so you'd go in and do your insert a page break but for the purpose of this I just want to keep it all together if you had made a mistake you click on it you click on the down arrow and you do edit source and that allows you to correct any mistakes you've made so for example if you spelled personnel incorrectly or something like that okay and the same with any of them click on it click on the down arrow and edit source and you can make any change you want okay and that's how you do harvard referencing in microsoft word